Hi, I'm Blaze Kirstung, and welcome to 2020 Imaging. Today we're going to go through the installation and calibration of the PXS 710D. The imaging device will arrive in secure packaging such as this. After you remove the top carton to expose the contents, you want to first remove the top polystyrene cushion, secures the generator, and go ahead and set it aside. Next, cut off the three cable ties on the patient handrails. Carefully lift the arm of the podiatry support base up to 90 degrees, remove, and then gently set aside. Keep in mind the podiatry support base contains a spring-loaded arm with 500 pounds of force. Never remove the x-ray head while the arm is in a position other than the 90 degrees vertical. Next, remove the patient's side handrails from the cushions. The back handrail cushion should then be removed and set aside. You want to then remove the podiatry system from the base and set aside. We are now ready to begin the installation process of the PXS 710D. We're going to start with installing the handrails to the base with the provided screws. We're going to use a 316 hex provided with the system to install. It is recommended to get all of them started first before fully tightening. And on to the other side. Moving to the back of the unit, installing the handrails to the back. Ensure all the screws are tight before moving to the next step. The next step is to remove the screws off the top of the base so we can lift it off and run those cables through the base for the panel. Carefully set this aside. We're going to now remove the grommet from the right side of the base using the provided Phillips screwdriver. Once you have the DR panel unpacked, you'll find the power cable. You can go ahead and set that aside as it's not necessary as it's integrated into the base. We'll start with putting the power supply inside the base. Go ahead and plug it in. Run the cable through this opening. We'll now insert the panel into the base We'll now unravel the cable. We're going to insert the cables from the outside of the base to the inside from the panel. We're going to connect the power of the panel together on the inside of the base. And it'll snap together. Make sure it's nice and secure. And we're going to take the USB cable, you can go ahead and ravel it up in here. So we're going to run it to the back of the base. So we run it through all the openings. You go ahead and plug it in to the back USB port on the back of the base. Power on the AC adapter inside the base before placing the cover on. We need to determine the length of the cable necessary for the technician to move the panel from the bottom of the base to the side of the base. You want enough slack so that it can easily position and maneuver the panel back and forth. After you determine the length of the cable necessary, you want to carefully pull it through the base and secure it with the grommet. It's now time to place the cover back on top of the base. Once 
Once the top of the base has been secured, the next step is to install the exposure switch. Place the exposure switch into the top holder and plug it in right at the bottom of the base. We'll want to install the cables to the back of the base, starting with the power cable. Next, the USB cable in the panel. And finally, the serial cable. To now plug the USB serial cable from the base into the extension provided so that it reaches the computer. Now that we have our acquired computer unboxed and in place, we're going to want to go ahead and plug in the power source. If you're going to be using the wireless keyboard and mouse, go ahead and plug in the wireless dongle into the back of the computer. Now that you have your cables ran from the x-ray system, go ahead and plug in the panel cable as well as the generator cable also into the back of the computer. Now that we have everything plugged in, we're going to go ahead and power on the equipment. Before we start calibration, we need to set up the server computer. Here you have your server set up. It comes with everything you need, including your server tower, monitor, keyboard mouse, your battery backup system with data cable, your data backups, data cable, your monitor cable, your two power cables, one for the computer and monitor, and your network cable. With the server, you have an off-site backup system. You have two external hard drives, that go with the server. You want to have one cable plugged in at a time, the other cable you can put aside. You want to ensure that there's always one drive plugged in, and the other drive, once the staff leaves for the night, can be taken with them. Once they come back in the morning, they simply put it back up there and be sure that they switch it one time a day, whether it's in the morning or at night when they leave. To check your backup, simply run the x-ray backup shortcut from the desktop. You can run a manual backup to test by right-clicking on a job listed, click Run, and ensure that the result says Success onto each job. We're now ready to perform calibration. Simply right-click on the Start menu. Now click on Launch. Select options from the right hand side, select device configurations, select default, go ahead and scroll down to the calibration option, and click on launch under calibration utility. Carefully take the calibration grid out of the plastic and place it onto the panel to align the bottom notch. Place a small piece of tape right at the top to hold the calibration grid to the panel, not to cover any of the holes. This is necessary so the calibration grid does not move while we slide it underneath the base, like such. Position the tube head straight above to be seated at zero degrees. Line up the collimators so it is centered directly above the panel. Once you have it centered, simply open the collimator light up as far as it goes. Back at the computer, we're going to prepare the shot by clicking the capture button for positional grid. And we're now ready to take our exposure. Now that our positional view is finished, We'll go ahead and remove the grid from the panel. Back at the computer, we're going to go ahead and select our luminance shot. Now click Capture under Luminance. We'll now take our exposure. Once you have both of your shots taken, go ahead and select Calibrate near the bottom finish the calibration. If you're interested in seeing any details during the calibration, you can
can select verbose mode at the bottom. Otherwise, click on calibrate. Go ahead and click OK. Simply close the calibration box, select apply, OK. You can now exit the UAI interface. Close the box. We are now finished with calibration and the system is ready for use. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us at 2020imaging.net or you can call 866 734 6234.